the game works is there's a bunch of platforms like above and or behind you. You find a platform that you want to jump on, or whichever one's closest that you can land on. You sort of aim a little bit above it, and then you throw yourself with the magnet and look down to catch yourself on the platform. So I'm Ricky Medina. I'm the outreach coordinator for Hacker Brown's 2015 team. We are at Brown University in Providence, Rhode Island. We have hundreds of kids here from all over the country, from 61 different schools, I believe, including like nine high schools. They've just come together to sit down and code for 24 hours and eat yummy food and just learn new things. I think it should be some weird thing. So I'm working in an app called WeMap. So WeMap lets you make a scrapbook of your relationship as a gift for Valentine's Day. Uh, that shows all the most important places to your relationship. You can also activate date discovery mode that shows you dates of other people around you or lets you find new date locations. Okay, so what did you guys do while you were here? Uh, we made a little game in Python. Uh, we used the time that we had to play around um, with a graphical user interface kit. So we managed to create a little dice game um, with buttons <laughs> that work. <laughs> yeah, so you can actually play around with it. Object of the game is to get to 100 points, and uh, <laughs> you roll the dice to get there. So it was less about the game and more about learning to use the, the GUI kit. So hackathons are a relatively new staple in the technology world, both at the collegiate level and the industry level, but also increasingly at the high school level. Uh, what they tend to be are large events or small events where people just get together and build awesome things. It could be anything as simple as a website. You know, some hackathon projects have gone up to be startups, but Really, for us, it's just about building and doing something that you love with people who are supportive and want you to succeed.